Magandang araw, oras na para sa pinakabagong balita sa lagay ng panahon at sa mundo ng science and technology. Ako po si Jel Miranda and we welcome you to DOS TV, Science for the People. Balikan ang proudly Pinoy made na health device na layong gawing mas mura, mas epektibo at accessible ang knee replacement para sa mga Pilipino. Dito lamang sa Sinesyensya. I was born with in a family of seven children. My father was uh, Jose and Consuelo, were uh, farmers, sugarcane farmers, but very small. We have five hectares of land. And so we consider ourselves poor. We work in the Hacienda in the farm. Uh, I was watching carabaos and all of those. Uh, in fact, the, the uh, carabao in front of the building has a story of itself because I was watching carabaos during uh, summer or during week weekends. And at that time, when I fell down from a carabao on the land and I was crying, I said, I'll never be this poor watching stupid carabaos. <laughs> By the time I was seven or eight years of age, I think I always wanted to be a doctor, <laughs> even at that time. When Dr. Montoya from Dost asked me, Dr. Castillo, can we develop, can we, because he knows I, I'm interested in research and development. Can we do something for Filipino? Then the thing that comes to my mind right away is the knee system. For two reasons. One, it's very expensive in the Philippines. And we will keep are trying, how can we solve the problem? And second, there are not enough orthopedic surgeons in the Philippines. Who can do it? Half of them, I train them in the state, but in a population of 103 million, we need a lot of orthopedic surgeons to know how to do this system. Through a meeting with Dr. Ramon Gustilo, who's a world-famous orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Ramon Gustilo is a U.S.-based Filipino orthopedic surgeon who has done a lot in the area of orthopedic medicine. And one of his... Uh, Milestone achievements is actually the development of uh, implants, which are now currently patented and being used in the U.S. But this time, he wanted to develop a knee implant that is for the Filipino. And he actually approached us with this uh, concept and uh, development initiative that he, he would like to develop a knee implant for Filipinos because he knew that currently there is no available knee implant in the Philippines that was actually manufactured in the Philippines. Not to mention the exorbitant cost of having a knee implant, which cost about almost a million pesos, all in all, including the surgical fee. So when we discussed that and we saw the prospects of this not just being helpful to the Filipino people in terms of uh, people who would need the knee implant, but as far as its commercial viability, 
we decided to partner with him. The interesting thing with this uh, partnership is that the, the government will be investing in the research and development process that will improve on this knee implant. And I, I am very proud to say that this is the first time that it happened, that the government is co-investing with a private company in the research and development field. So uh, we took a lot of risk for this particular knee implant. We had a lot of discussions before it was actually approved by the our governing council. But more importantly, I think, it was the support of Secretary Mario Monteo which made this possible. Because if he was not enthusiastic about the whole project, this would have been um, as fast as uh, now. So we're truly happy for his support and he gave us the go signal. And after, what, almost two years, we're now with this knee implant that is now being produced uh, in the plant of uh, Dr. Gustilo in Cabuyao, and they are now looking at imports, in, uh, exports, sorry, exports to other countries. And to me, that is Philippine technology developed by Filipino scientists, and it's a, he has a very good uh, core of engineers uh, who is his team, support team in the development of this uh, knee implant. So he, this company is Orthopedic International, and they're very competent uh, engineers and orthopedic doctors who made this possible. So we're truly proud of it. And it will really bring down the cost of uh, knee implants by 50%, 40 to 50%, so which will be of great benefit to many Filipinos who are not able to get implants because of the exorbitant cost. If you know that there are about 70,000 patients who require knee replacement every year, 70,000, but because it's so expensive, we can only do like 1,000 a year. Di saan na yung 69,000? Magtitiis na lang yun. Nag-start ang akong tuhod sakit, 1983. Dere. Sakit. Isa lang. Isa lang ka-legs niya. Isa lang ka-legs niya. Tapos so, ang... Gina, gina ko man, gina pa doktor ko man sa atin. Ako mga pain reliever lang naman. Hindi naman ako bulong. Ngumpawan man siya. Pero hindi madala sa bulong. Nagtabok din siya di. So, amat-amat sa amat-amat sa nga doon. Nag-amunok. Nag-deform din siya doon. Kabudlay din. Magtinda ko doon, hindi ko katay, hindi ko katindog, dali, hindi ko kabilis, minay lang, minay na yun, man, ano pa, manukad pa ko, <laughs> mabuylo pa, kabudlay gid sa ako, hindi ka, hindi ko kagiho, kaayo, limitado gid akong giho, kapin pa kung wag ano na nga try this, katinda lang kayo, ang misis ko naman, uh, ano, nagatinda na, so wala pa siya na operahan, budlay gid kaayo sa iya-iya nga pang giho, hindi siya kalakat maayo, Gasakripisyo, ah, gas, gasakit ang iyang mga tuhod, eh, hindi agid makaya. Jenna, she's a late four year old. She has a problem for the last 12, 13 years. She has not been walking too much. She's primarily on the chair and stand up and walk. Uh, she has knees that are very deformed. She's not posture arthritis. Probably she even be either gout or rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, his knees are going uh, outward because we use our knees for the, the whole our whole lives we have wear and tear of the knees when you walk when you and I walk our weight is bare from the center of the hip joint the center of the knee and the center of the ankle as we age the the wear exceeds the repair of the knee the problem with the arthritis of the knee, the wearing away, it's a permanent thing. When the cartilage disappears, no amount of medicine or injections will permanently cure him. So it's really uh, restricted his quality of life for the next 10 or 12 years. And she doesn't have money to be uh, done.
first place in order to answer that problem, you have to know, at least in medicine, you have to know what the problem is. Like for instance, a broken bone now. If you break your bone, your thigh bone or leg bone, it takes four to six months to heal. Okay? How about if we develop something that we did would heal in six weeks? See, that's innovation. That changes the life of the patient. The new system that we develop is the same way. So, when I, when Dr. Montoya and I approached, I said, we have to solve the problems of total knee replacement, alignment, and how to make it uh, affordable. Quality preserved and yet affordable. And I think we addressed both those problems. DOST with PCHRD uh, helped the Dr. Gustilo. So they put in some money, Dr. Gustilo put in money, and together we built up the research. And the research became production and manufacturing. Now we're using it clinically. Axis knee is a hardware, actually it's an implant, an implant to replace damaged parts. It is designed to replace a worn out knee. This is the human knee, kneecap, thigh bone, leg bone, and the knee moves like that. At the end of the bone is cartilage, this is the blue thing. The tips, oh, both of them have cartilages. Cartilage is tough, it does not have any sensation. So when we move, when we walk, it's like a good padding. As you age, this padding wears away, it becomes thin, eventually it disappears this disappears it will be bone on bone and when we walk on bone on bone sa, sa Tagalog yun nagbuto sa buto masakit yun that's very painful there is no medicine that you can take to replace this like a broken brake pad worn out you cannot put oil to make it better you have to replace it Axis knee is a way of replacing this worn out pad. And essentially, the, the procedure cuts the, the end part of our joint that is damaged, that means the cartilage that's worn out. You cut them off and replace it with metal and plastic in a correct alignment and correct stability, what we call ligament to stability. The worn out cartilage just have to shape it off. Once you shape it off, the axis knee or, or implants like that, you put bone cement and you stick it in the bone. At the end, the tip or the end of this bone will have metal. The end of this bone will have, it's a special kind of uh, plastic. And together, when you move, there will not be any bone on bone contact. So the patient can walk without pain. Longevity of the system, if properly done, it should last 25 to 30 years, easily. Because the plastic wear, the square plastic, is you only wear one zero, zero two millimeter per year. So it lasts for a long time. We calculated the thickness of the plastic. It can easily last for many years. And we have several patients, some here and some in the States, that are now 25 years. Because they are well aligned, they still function. To do a knee in the States, it's at least $30,000 per knee. Here, we can do it for five to 6000 easily. And that covers everything. Covers the implant, covers the professional fee, covers the hospital. Uh, for indigent, <laughs> But for indigent patients now, but we try to work. For really indigent patients, we just keep them there. You know, I can't tell you frankly how he heard of us, but all of a sudden he just showed up 
and the clinic and uh, with this knees and his strong mind. So I don't know how he came to our particular family. So he's the first access knee system that we have done both knees and both knees, one at a time. takot pag uh, nakakilala ko si Dr. Destino. Wala, miss me gamay wala ko natakot. Okay. Ang munang sabi sa akin ni ano ni Dr. Atan nga siya lang ang doktor nga maka-repair sina. Ah, uh, April 11, 2015. Ang uh, binopirahan ako uh, alas 6 sa aga ng sulod ko sa operating room. So gin ano ko ni Dr. Hinko, ni anesthesia. Wala mo kong ipatulog, mga tama lang po. Galantaw mo lang po sa ina ko, pirahan ko. Tapos nung mga... Dugay-dugay na yung pirahan ko, almost 2 hours to 3 hours. He didn't... We didn't charge him. I didn't charge him professionally. It's all free. The only thing that we charge, because the government requires it, yung implant. The implant is half the price. Yeah. He has failed health, so it it uh, it uh, pays for his uh, no, hospital bill. So after operation, then naka na na confined ako sa kwan sa andi ano sa kundro. Gin ano na ko gin pagkaaga. Gin nag 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 nagtayo na ko. Nagamit ako na walker. Nagwalker ko mga dali man lang walker. Yes, there's so you can walk. You can stand right away. You know because we put something in there that controls the pain for the next 48 hours. But the, the amazing, the difference amazing, with the bilateral knee last week, the following day, she was already standing, and we did both things. Sana, ang ang tanan ko, makalaw, kapasyal na ko, malakan na kong malayo pa, katindog na ko, magkatayo na ko lang madali, makalakad, makalakad, may lagi na akong ano, giho, hindi na ko nabudla yan. Ang kalipay, hindi maabot sa langit nga nakabalik siya sa lakat ng insakto. Ang lang na agit ako mahambal. Maragit nga kalipay nga na insakto ang kwa ni Ronald nga abi ko ana hindi na gid na balik ang iyang paglakat. Karon okay na okay na gid na siya. Everybody has to be served. You know, irrespective whether they can afford it or you know, you just have to do it. Ang ang kalipay hindi gid maano hindi gid ma <laughs> hindi ko gid mahambal kay tungod nga wide hindi na kami nagkuan hindi na siya nagproblema nga kung gabi hindi na mahasol iya pagtulog insakto na iya pagtulog kag panggiho adlaw-adlaw nga pagpangita sa am pang adlaw-adlaw nga pangabuhi I'm very optimistic that we'll be able to come to an agreement with the Food and Drug Administration. That's one. For this knee implant specifically, the training program is also being accelerated uh, because of our uh, talks and seminars with a lot of orthopedic surgeons. More and more of them are actually being trained on this particular procedure and implant. So as more and more doctors are using it, more and more patients will be using it. And eventually, what we would like to happen is that uh, it will be the standard as far as knee implants are concerned in the country. So we're aiming for that. Si Dr. Rosillo ang, ang tinuwa.
yoga ang doktor nga makabulik sa ako nga makalakas ako ni tatlong ang motor nga nagsugot ako nga magpapira sa Disney na sa investment isang kataron makaupra na ko makapamasyar na ko na sa gua hindi na ko mahuya nga mag lakat-lakat na sa gua kaya si tatlong nasukod ko mo na maupra ko ng tanan sa kalong isang mahal nga Diyos nga ginbuligan man ako kag si Dr. Lucilo sa iya magpaninguha man nga mabuligan man ako salamat na langit kay Dr. Lucilo sa iya pag upira sa akon pag ilis ang aksis ni when you take the oath of medicine that means you might have to relieve pain and do all of it my, my life is been medicine. Don't think about the money part. Just think that you are helping your, your patients. If you are good, money will just come in the back side of it. You know, just be a good doctor. You know, to me, that's the most rewarding part of medicine. US TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSM BFI Building, 318 Santon Road, West Crame, San Juan City. CITAV, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.citav.net. And that's it for today. For more information, just log on to www.dostv.ph and visit our social media accounts. Abangan din ang update sa lagay ng panahon mula sa DOST Pag-asa tuwing alas 5 ng umaga at alas 5 ng hapon. Always remember, in progress, science is the key. Kaya sabay-sabay tayong makiisa at gamitin ang siyensya. Kami ang DOSTV, the program that delivers science for the people.